Good day my friend, in today's video I will show you how to change the front disc brake on the Mercedes W124. Let's watch it. Before we start the tutorial, I would like to thank uh, the people that port to that channel. Uh, this helped me to buy new parts, etc. And for those who want to port to that channel, uh, uh, you can look at the description of the video. There's a link where you can bring whatever you feel like. Uh, so, until then, uh, let's start the tutorial. The part we're going to be using is this one. Of course, as usual, I will place the part number on the video. As you can see, it's plain. Huh? Uh, this usually was fitted on the phase one. Then later we had phase two and phase three, W124, where vented one uh, were fitted. Huh? Uh, so of course I will place the part number for this one as well. Now, if you want to swap, for instance, if on your phase one you want to place a vented one on it, yes you can, but you will have to change the entire brake as well. Okay. To start, we're going to secure the car, hein? so we place the handbrake, we place the first gear, or you place it on P, hein? if you've got an automatic. Uh, as well, I just place the, the wheel that we've removed hein? under the car, just in case, okay? And what we're going to do now, we're just going to remove the brake caliper. How do we know we need to change the brake disc? Well, it's very easy. As we go braking hein, uh, over the years, this part is eaten bit by bit, huh? so this creates a lip here. Yeah? So if we take a coin, we place it here, and we try to move it, you see, the lip stops it. So when it stopped, then we know this has to be changed, okay? To start dismantling, first we're going to remove that little plastic part, then we're going to unplug the wire. Uh, that uh, shows us the, if the brakes are used or not. Uh, and then we're going to remove this here. It's a 13. Here we go. And a 15 here. Okay. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're going to remove this one and this one here. Once it's removed, uh, you're going to take a piece of wire, you're going to bend it like this, like an S. We're going to remove this and we're going to hook it somewhere there. Once we remove the, 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 the brake pads and the brake itself, we're going to remove this part here. For this, behind, you'll see there's two uh, bolts of 19. Uh, so I'm going to use a spanner like this, uh, a ratchet, and I'm going to remove it. Now to remove the brake disc, we're going to use an Allen key number 5. We're going to place it here, you see, and we're going to unscrew it, like so, and it will come out. Now to mount it, with all those holes, you can't go wrong. You see, there's one here for the screw, and there's two here that goes uh, on each side here, you see in here, it's for the screw, okay, so you can't go wrong, you just place it there, and you will see it should go in place, you move it in case, that's it, huh? now it's in place, we place back the screw. Once it's fitted, we place back that part here. Now that this is fitted, we're going to place back the pads, so mine are to be changed, okay, so usually when that wire reach that part you know it's gone but anyway there's very little left now on it so i know for me this is to be changed okay if yours are good simply place them back okay and now we're gonna fit the cover in order to place back the caliper now you will have a problem because obviously as it is thicker now this won't go in okay 
So what you will do, you will use some kind of uh, tool like this one and you will open, you, you will press it, huh? so like that it will give you a bit more space here. You don't have to open that to, to close much, just a little bit, so like that you can place it in. In case you can close it, huh, the, the, the piston, I will show you another trick. You remove the brake pads, you fit this on it, huh, and now here you've got a gap. So, you use the spanner to remove the wheel, you push it as much as you can that way, so you've got a gap here between the, the brake disc and the piston. Now you place this inside, like so, and you make pressure like that, and it will open. Once it's fitted, of course, we don't forget to place back the plug inside, and the plastic clip. That's it, it's now done. Obviously, if you do one side, you do the other side as well, okay? Very important. And uh, place the wheel and off you go. Now, be very careful because the brakes uh, have been slightly open, remember? So they're not adjusted onto the brake uh, disc. So before you go and drive the car, like nothing happened, uh, just press the brake a few times, so like that the caliper will adjust again on the brake disc. And that's it. So I hope that you have liked the video, I hope it's useful to you, and now it's up to you. Until the next video, take care.